Well, hey y'all, it's Jen Mayer with the Blue Bonnet Homestead. Today I'm going to show you how I made drop cloth curtains for big windows. These drop cloths I found on Amazon, they're seamless and they're 12 by 15 feet. The curtain rod for my windows all the way down to the floor measures about 13 feet long, so I needed some really big drop cloths. I'll be sure to link all the description of everything below. And here's the seams up close. For each drop cloth that I used, I ended up using four total. I needed two gallons of bleach for each one as well as four cups of white vinegar. You're going to need a big huge poking stick just like this for stirring as well as a big stock tank like this. We got this one from Tractor Supply. I also recommend that you get some really big gloves just to protect your skin and everything from the bleach water. You don't want that getting everywhere on you. We just used our hose in the backyard. Again, two gallons of bleach and four cups of white vinegar for after the bleaching process. And I'll go over that with you in just a little bit. So we use just our hose to fill this up. We need to fill it all the way up so that everything can be submerged. And we only did one drop cloth at a time for this. I know it seems like a lot, but it was just the best way to get all the fabric bleached properly. You need to just dump in your bleach water. There's no need to put in the vinegar just yet. Um, you're going to do that afterwards. And you're going to get everything filled up to the point where the cloth is completely submerged. And you're going to turn this about every two hours. And you can see I'm using my gloves and my big poking stick to do this. Just cover it up from the sun. We just used a tarp and some scrap wood in our backyard. It worked just fine. We ended up doing each drop cloth for 8 to 10 hours each. And I know that seems like a lot, but they're pretty big pieces of fabric. We couldn't do this in our washing machine because we have a septic tank. So this was the, our way around that. I didn't show it in this part, but after you bleach them for 8 to 10 hours, you're going to drain the bleach water. And then you're going to put your four cups of white vinegar and then fill it with water. Just enough to submerge the fabric and then let it sit for about 10 minutes. This is going to deactivate the bleach. Then you can drain that all out. And I just kind of stuck it in this big, huge garbage can looking thing and I dragged it inside. I laundered it like normal. So yes, you can launder it after you've deactivated the bleach and that's what the white vinegar is for. It also takes away the smell really well. So anyway, I'm doing a heavy duty cycle, just one cycle per drop cloth. This is what it looks like you know unbleached versus bleached so if you don't want the whiter cloth you don't have to it's just your preference really I always put it in the dryer I went ahead and dried them till they were they were bone dry they only shrank a little bit maybe about four inches at the most so what I did instead of getting a measuring tape out <laughs> I went ahead and took just one drop cloth and I pre-hung it. I feel like fabric is pretty flowy and unpredictable. So I felt like this was the best way to go ahead and just measure exactly how much cloth am I really going to need for this. So I just took some of the excess cloth and I folded it back and pinned it down. Basically, I kind of used this as a template to measure all of my other drop cloth against because I'm going to use four panels total. Not all of them are exactly the same size. Again, they did shrink a little bit each. So I just kind of pre-hung this, pinned it down, and I'm going to use this measurement to go ahead and trim the rest of my drop cloth, if that makes sense. You're going to need a big area. I went ahead and just vacuumed my floor up real nice because everything is cleaned. Everything's laundered and bleached at this point. You can go ahead and iron this or steam your cloth if you want to. I found that as soon as I hung my drop cloth up, everything was perfectly fine. It actually hung really straight right off the bat. You're going to see some wrinkles at first, but over time it's going to get straighter and straighter looking. So it's up to you. Again, it's personal preference um, depending on how you want your curtains to look. So I'm taking each cloth at this point and I'm just kind of straightening them out. I'm going to take all four of them and lay them on top of each other 
and all the seams facing the same direction and everything, this will make it a lot easier for me to take that template drop cloth that I pre-measured earlier and just lay it on top of everything and then trim off my excess fabric um, based on that so that everything will be about the same size. Again, with drop cloth, not everything's going to be perfect, but you just want it to be about the same size. Again, we're going for that farmhouse, billowy, drapey, linen, curtain look. So I just feel like this fabric is the perfect type of fabric for that. And you get to save so much money. Like, oh my goodness, I saved a lot um, comparing the prices to other stores that have quote unquote linen heavy curtains. <laughs> so anyway, I went ahead and put my template drop cloth on top of everything. You can just cut a little bit at the edge and then the drop cloth pretty much tears straight. You do have to be careful when you do this. Just be, you know, of course, give yourself a little extra slack. Don't trim it all the way to the edge that you need just in case a little mistake is here made. For the most part, it worked pretty nicely. I just kind of cut a little um, slot at the edge and just ripped the excess fabric right off and it worked just fine. So now that everything has been trimmed up really nicely, I'm going to go ahead and start pleating my fabric. This is where the hooks are going to go. It's going to make it look like it's been tailored when it really hasn't. <laughs> I have no sewing skills, so I went ahead and found this trick. I believe I found it on Pinterest somewhere. I kind of just did two pleats in this fabric. It's pretty thick. I noticed most people are doing three. But this is pretty thick fabric, and I made it about the size of my pinky each fold. Then I took these little gripper hooks, if you will. Again, I'll link everything below. Everything will be on my blog post. And these things are fabulous. They hooked on and kept everything in place so well. I was very impressed. So I did this for all of the pleats on my curtains. I kind of spaced them about five or six inches apart each and that's kind of what it looks like at the top. So again, there was no sewing, no ironing, no gluing, nothing. It's just folded fabric. That's it. So now I have the lovely task of going up and hanging these babies. Again, it's really high up on the wall there. I guesstimated about 13 feet high. Drop cloths themselves were about 12 feet wide and 15 feet long. So there was more than enough for me to pull these drapes over the windows if I wanted to block out the sun. I kind of stole my husband's ladder at this point, I think, <laughs> to do this. Oh yeah, there he is. He's probably wondering <laughs> where his ladder went. Inspecting, making sure I'm being safe. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, yeah, I did end up needing a ladder for this just because it's so high up. It just depends on how big your windows are, of course. I always say just be careful when you're doing things like this. This fabric was actually a lot heavier than I expected. But, you know, everything went fine. I was just real careful with how I did it and, you know, went, went slowly. After all this, you can see there's qu still quite a bit of fabric left over on the floor. And if that's the case, you can either leave it if you like the way that looks, or if it kind of bothers you, you can just go and trim it again. And you don't even need to take it down, just trim it right there on the floor. After you straighten it out, you'll notice it's, it's already hanging very straight. But again, you can take a steamer if you want to and steam these and make them look even straighter and more professional. I love the way these turned out. I hope you guys give it a try. All the tutorial details are available on my website, thebluebonnethomestead.com. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.